Hi, I'm Noah. And I'm Greg. This is Dish Talk. This is a show where two dishwashers talk endlessly about movies. This episode is for Disney's Mulan. Get used oh, to it. Christ. <laughs> God damn it. Morning left this place. Fucking mess. There's trash everywhere. There's a Sprite can. Oh, hey, Greg. Oh, Noah. You've come. <laughs> of course I always come. I've waited so long. There's a Sprite can here. Do you want to see if there's anything inside? Yes. <laughs> oh, look. They stuffed used tissues into it. Garbage, Garbage can? can? Okay. So, do you want to avoid work and talk about movies? All I ever want to do. You know, I just saw Mulan. I saw Mulan too. I didn't like it. I didn't like it either. What are the odds? Very high. Very, mm, very high. I see. <sighs> so where, where on earth do we begin? I don't know. So let me just crack open on these notes I took during the movie. <laughs> I had to. I, I had also to pause have very notes. Frequently. Just to make sure that I was watching a Disney film. See, that was the thing. I wasn't sure what this movie was trying to be. Was it a Disney film with goofy comedy? Or was it trying to be an epic war movie? Or was it trying to be Chinese propaganda? It failed at all three of those things. Oh, we're already banned in so. China. I see. <laughs> First episode. First episode banned in uh, China. <laughs> Yeet. Uh, have you ever seen a Bollywood movie? Uh, yeah, I've seen a couple. I, there's this, there's a, this one series of Bollywood movies. It's made by the same guy. It's the richest guy in India, I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly. I can't remember his name. It's a very dumb name. But he, uh, he makes these movies, and I was, I was watching this, and I was like, this is, ex this is the exact same, like, format and style that he uses. I, I have a sneaking suspicion that Disney had no part in this movie whatsoever other than its own name. You know, I, I disagree because when I was watching this movie, I definitely got some of that bad Disney hijinks that's so wacky it's supposed to be funny. Maybe. <laughs> but you know what this movie you know what this movie really reminded me of? Early two thousands kung fu movies. Like Crouching Tiger Hidden Dragon uh ip man the forbidden kingdom like that exact same style all, how like, dare you those movies are good oh they are i'm not saying it did it well <laughs> with better technology than ever before <laughs> and it flash failed. on screen that picture i sent to you in chat <laughs> continuously I, I flash it that. throughout the episode whenever <laughs> Shoot arrow behind it, it back. <laughs> like, I only giggled at one joke, and that was when uh, the two guys started cuddling, and that's the only time I laughed at an actual oh, joke. Oh, I laughed at the entire movie, because the entire movie was a joke. I had to take so <laughs> many pauses to either think about, is this real? And then I had to go, oh my god, that's hilarious that that even happened. Like, every time... Every there. time Mulan did a flying butterfly kick to the spear, I absolutely <laughs> lost my shit. I couldn't believe what was happening. Oh, Jesus Christ, it's this true. Is abysmal. I didn't even get past the first, like, five minutes because young Mulan can, like, do things better than Bruce Lee. Okay, yeah, I, I wanted to talk about that opening. Can we talk about how pointless that opening Can we talk about was? How awkward it is. There's there was no rising inspirational music before the title screen came, and it just kind of like hits you, like a like a Latino mother with a with a fucking sandal. It just smacks you, and you just gotta accept it. It's like Mulan after her dad is just essentially like you will never be anything, and then it doesn't go. Da -da 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 -da. And then, no, it just hits you with a title. The most stale music ever. 
Okay, so that, that opening sequence is completely useless because they recap everything that happened in it within the first five minutes of the movie. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mulan likes Mulan is an adventurous spirit who likes to ride horses. Oh, no. She has to get married. Oh, no. She ruins everything, even though it's not her fault. It's her sister's fault. Oh. <laughs> She's the one who flipped the table. Yeah. I, I mean, like, didn't they say this movie was supposed to be based on, like, actual Chinese, like, history and culture and stuff like that? But, like, the original Mulan is literally like 300 words i'm pretty sure because it's like a song yeah it involves chinese foot binding it's pretty dope i'll admit i'll admit you can have some creative freedom with it but like uh should should we call this too much creative freedom or insanity there's definitely some insanity i don't okay i'm gonna be brutally honest here i never watched the animated version of mulan i've never seen it no how dare you (laughs) i know dare you Um, if you watch the original mulan after you watch this you will be blown away no no because one of my uh one of my notes says that this is mocking the original movie because there's a lot of lines of dialogue that are part of the songs in the original one See, I noticed that, but that's mainly through osmosis because it's hard to like not know those songs. Like, I'll make a man out of you. Yeah, and like there was, and bring on there were certain like. Mm-hmm. I was mad that no one said you brought dishonor onto your cow. Um, oh yeah, they didn't have Mushu in this because they were like, oh, we wanted this to be a bit more serious. But then they have a flying phoenix that looks like ass coming through the sky oh. almost all oh, the time. Oh God. Like what? What is that? I don't know. What like, was that? Why? It looked like a kite. <laughs> it. I thought it was a kite. For a <laughs> it was a rogue <laughs> kite. <laughs> I. I was like, is this like someone from the army, like Shit, flying a I kite? Lost my kite. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's the real talk. Like, if they want to do a like to do an homage to the animated version. Why not make her spirit guardian a dragon instead of the phoenix? Oh yeah, because the original family in the original animated movie, their their uh family creature was a dragon. <laughs> it was a dragon. So like to me that didn't make any sense. Um oh, I laugh so spoilers for the rest of this episode if anyone cares. So at the end when she's fighting the final cartoon bad guy phoenix wings appear behind oh, her yeah like she's an angel and i couldn't stop laughing Yeah, during that entire fight scene well no at the end of that fight scene whenever he fell into the, like the center of it i was talking about like oh so you can fall 40 feet running down a wall and be completely fine but falling 20 feet is obscene Okay, yeah. The the physics in this movie make no sense. Oh, this is more like, like a cartoon than the actual cartoon. Yeah, they're like talking about like chi and all this crap and I'm like this is a this is a Avengers like starter story. This is an origin story for an Avengers. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> um why why is like every time I heard anyone defend uh this movie for like all its changes, everyone said, "Oh, it's supposed to be the more mature in a adult version but why is there magic yeah it's like and and speaking of which why is like magic useless whenever it decides to be because literally normal people can catch flying arrows but the magical witch lady can't yeah that didn't make it's any like, sense uh, uh, her, no i'm i'm a hawk i can't red... i can't catch the arrow when i'm a hawk no her whole redemption arc arc uh three minutes um when she massacred like several villages i i didn't feel anything yeah well did you know that that character wasn't even in the original one that makes a lot of sense it felt like yeah like i was like why add a female antagonist if you're not gonna have mulan fight her like if it just doesn't make any sense because you see greg they wanted a girl boss 
Yeah, and even that, like, the villains are fighting for apparently a world where women aren't looked down upon, so shouldn't Mulan be all for this? (laughs) I mean, the villains are... Well, okay, so the villain's motivation is everywhere. I want to conquer China. I want to avenge my dead father. I want gold. I I want gold. I, I want a land where this woman who i'm kind of terrified of uh also i scoured the internet Rorins mm-hmm. don't exist they made oh. up oh, wow. of a, a people for this movie when in the original movie it's I... mongolians why would it have been yeah, why would it have sense. been so bad to have mongolians the antagonists again does china not to does china not like to acknowledge the is mongols? china scared of <laughs> the mongols again if we don't acknowledge them they don't exist mongolians watching this oh hell no i mean it it's so weird like it it was beyond bizarre and speaking of the female antagonist uh i noticed mm -hmm. something that happened with a lot of characters in this movie and i think that the the actors that couldn't speak english had most of their lines delivered off screen. All of them are dubbed. Like there are so many of these actors are oh, dubbed. Yes. And they're bad dubs too. They are very bad. They're so bad. And they're awkward. They're poorly delivered too. They like the the so emperor's abrupt. dub is so bad. They're so abrupt. And I and I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why either. Like Dis- Disney could like, have easily easily handled this. You know, if they wanted to do their mature epic, why not just put it in Chinese and then subtitle it? Oh, maybe. I don't know. That, that probably would have worked. Didn't they do that for that other Mulan movie that wasn't by uh, Disney? Yeah. And apparently it's been very successful. Yeah. So I'm just like, why would you dub all of these actors who can't speak English? Yeah, it... <laughs> And make the movie in English when they could have just made it in Chinese. <laughs> so I do have one positive in this movie, and oh, I I have a few. It's too. in the middle yeah. of my notes, and it's ju- it just says Donnie Yen with eight exclamation marks. Donnie Yen was the greatest actor in this entire cast. His line delivery, great. His mm-hmm. choreography, all real by the way, and not sped up. He's twirled that sword at light speed almost. And he's mm-hmm. like an actual badass. I thought to myself, why didn't they just morph his face to different characters and just have him be the entire Chinese army? <laughs> why couldn't we just have Donnie apparently, Yen do that? <laughs> apparently Jet Li was in the movie and I just didn't Where? notice it because I looked it up on IMDb. I know. <laughs> Where was he? Can we can we talk about how Mulan's father looks like Winnie the Pooh? Was it? Was he? Wait, he does. He He's does not. Look, no, wait, he looks like the current like. But he does the, look like the him. Current president of China or the emperor of China. He whatever looks his title just is. like him. He does. He looks so much like him. It's weird. And that's the funny thing. The, da- the actor for the dad wasn't that bad. He was a good actor. No, he wasn't the worst. He was better than a lot of the other actors. Because oh, yeah. there were a lot of bad actors in this movie. Oh, yeah. What did you think of uh, Mulan herself? She wasn't the worst thing ever. But uh, there were definitely parts where I couldn't tell if she was dubbed. Um, especially when she was trying to do her guy voice. <laughs> Uh, none of that seemed natural. I was getting some serious uh, Brie Larson vibes from her. Attempting Ooh. to be super <laughs> badass, but barely having any like facial expression. Oh, oh, did you appreciate their uh, Wonder Woman crossing the battlefield moment? <laughs> oh, yeah, when she jumps up on a moving horse to kick a spear back at a fucking Mongolian. No, Rorin! Yes. Rorin! Yes. Damn, she really I'm liked laughing. that maneuver of kicking spears. I think she did it like five times in the movie. Maybe that's like the one she can actually do. 
and she's like i learned that one so i'm gonna do it as much as possible (laughs) that's my one move i can do no i'm pretty sure like i'm pretty sure they just recorded her doing a bunch of stuff with like wire assistance and then they sped it up for the movie Probably. Yeah, if you ever watch like a Bollywood movie that has action sequences in it, they have like that same sped up, like almost CGI looking action, and it looks awful. I don't know why they do it. I don't know why they do it. Okay, so this this is a weird nitpick of mine, but uh, the moment when they were doing Mulan's makeup, and like they were setting up the bowls, did that not feel like a YouTube tutorial? <laughs> A YouTube tutorial? Um, maybe. Like, when all the bulls were just cutting in all at once? I've, uh, I've never seen any makeup tutorials on YouTube. Like, it looked like a cooking a tutorial cooking for tutorial. me. Like, where they're just, like, putting all of the ingredients in shot by Where's shot Where's the shot. lamb sauce? Where's the orange makeup? Okay, and... This is another weird little nitpick that's on my list, but all of the transitions look like generic stock footage you can find off YouTube. I don't even think I noticed the transitions. I think my brain might have actually, like, blocked them out from existence because they might have been so low budget. Mm Mm-hmm. Okay. And, okay, so I, I didn't find any of the fights interesting in this movie. I thought they were all pretty boring. Oh, yeah, they kind of are others really cookie cutter yeah others might disagree with me but i didn't find them believable everything there felt like there were no stakes everyone felt like a cartoon character i, felt like I was watching a cirque du soleil performance whenever that's, like the, during the fair. last sequence especially when the the rorins like descended upon all the walls upon the literal mass army of chinese that are gathered in the square. Mm-hmm. And for, you know, another thing, there were a lot of Rorins at the Imperial City, and there were more of them that then rode away with the main antagonist during that one battle. So yes. I was like, mm, they multiply. See, like, during the whole movie, I was waiting for my magic fight. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude, magic fight. Like, in, in the back of my head, I had Jackie Chan Adventures, Uncle going, only magic can defeat magic. <laughs> and I was waiting for my magic fight, and it never Let's happened. Get down to biz- I'm sorry, I'm so pissed that they didn't have any of the music in this. I'm, I'm so mad. Like, I appreciate them using the instrumental from some of the songs and like having them in the background for some of the scenes but like when you have some of the lyrics as dialogue in those set scenes it just makes me like want it makes me want more oh jesus christ uh okay so i have a lot of little nitpicks and we'll get into all of them (laughs) okay uh one i would like to bring up since we're talking about the big battle uh is when you see her start picking up helmets and then she oh, just she teleports, teleports behind the yes, rock. One of my notes says Mulan is fast as fuck. <laughs> I literally wrote that. Mulan is fast as fuck right during that scene. <laughs> and like she set up all these helmets within like a couple of minutes because they were still loading yeah. the pitch onto the trebuchet. <laughs> and all of a sudden she's behind a rock. And I'm like, when did she learn how to teleport? Also, did you know a rock covered in oil explodes like a bomb whenever it impacts? no (laughs) blows up uh they had their star wars moment when the bad guy went and joined me (laughs) and together gosh and then they ended up doing it anyway like they were Mm -hmm. like i'll never join you and then like in a couple of scenes they had a darth vader moment where it was like okay i'll join you instead and even then, she doesn't, like, say anything. She just, like, randomly flies off. And if you're going to tell me Mulan can keep up with a flying hawk going over rooftops, yeah, Mulan fast as fuck. They also had their I am Spartacus moment when everyone kept saying, I believe Oh, Mulan. yeah, like, literally the entire camp is just, like, yeah, I suddenly support uh, female rights. I suddenly support it. Like, they had that one super misogynistic scene. They had, like, a shit ton of them. Mm -hmm. 
And it was, and then all of a sudden oh, yeah. they're just like, "Why is Mulan different from who?" Uh, I can't even. I that's how much I didn't care about this movie. I can't remember any of their names. I can't remember them for the life of me. Especially the okay. Explain to me why you set someone up as a love interest to completely make him fade mm-hmm. out of the movie by the end of it. Yeah, I think it's like to kept, keep it ambiguous. Like, we don't know if she joined the Emperor's Guard or whatever. Oh my god, um, yeah. Like, <laughs> should I stay or should I go now? So, in my notes, it just says Scooby Doo. And the reason for that is when they capture the Emperor, they tie him up with these ropes and they go around in a circle. And all I could think about was, oh, this is a Scooby Doo trap. Oh, speaking of, speaking of that <laughs> sequence, the Emperor took two drapes and murdered six people with said drapes. Okay, yeah, he was definitely using chi or ki or he, whatever he was it's using called. The power of poor CGI to murder helpless, underpaid actors. So he was using chi, and earlier in the movie, he said using chi for bad purposes is illegal. Those work. What? The emperor is a fucking hypocrite. Everyone in this movie is a hypocrite. Also, like, if you could have just challenged the emperor to a duel, why would you? Why wouldn't you just do that from the get go instead of invading China? They wanted their big battle scene that wasn't very good and looked really green screened. Yeah. Oh my god, insert picture of Double Arrow behind back. The whole- okay, so in the beginning, when the Ronins are- they're not Ronins, the they're Rorins. uh- The Rorins. When the Roar I thought that was just a bad accent thing. I thought they were Ronins. You, did you? <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna confirm that Rorins don't exist real fast. Just- I'm gonna do another search. There's a person named Rorin. Rorin's hammer. This is Rorin again. Oh, Rorin is a character in Aragon. What? That, that's the movie, right? I know Aragon is like a. a main there's character. a book and movie. Yeah. yeah. So apparently, there's a real person named Rosa Rorin's Bonnet Tatum on Amazon Music. <laughs> Play a sound file. <laughs> Let's get some. Oof. Okay, Rorins don't exist. Rorins don't exist. Okay. <laughs> but they dress like Mongolians. In case anyone is wondering. They're not Mongolians, I swear. Like, was that for, like, cultural sensitivity issues? Or, like, I don't. Maybe. Maybe they, like, had it as Mongolians. They showed it to a Mongolian audience and they were like, no, don't do that. We hate you people. And then they quickly <laughs> dubbed over it. <laughs> okay so in this movie i saw that there were more than a few Zack snyder edits <laughs> when things would just slow down to a crawl and then immediately speed up at like five times as normal speed <laughs> and i had to make sure Zack snyder didn't direct this <laughs> i had to make sure superman wasn't in the background of any of the shots <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, Disney doesn't own them yet. Yet. <laughs> yeah, yet is the key word there. <laughs> yeah. So, like, I have my notes. It's a very... It's like... At first, it's like Mulan is now a tactical expert because everyone, including the commander, is following Mulan's lead into the Imperial City. And first of all, I don't think Mulan could take on Donnie yet in real life. Like, movie Mulan versus Donnie yet in life yeah that's not happening yeah donnie yen would absolutely destroy her there were just so many things in this movie that didn't make sense how did they traverse half of china in like a couple hours why would mong why would mongolians or rorins shoot a giant trebuchet into an ice mountain that they know will avalanche (laughs) why would they the real thing that confused me is how did Mulan get lost? She literally has a row. <laughs> like, I don't understand. Oh, God. 
Maybe maybe someone forgot to pave it that year. So everyone can fast travel uh, can fast in this travel. movie. Everyone can fast travel. Mulan can teleport. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Mulan Mulan can do a lot of things. Probably it's it's the power of the Phoenix. Power of the Phoenix. She's magic. She's a wizard, She's Harry. A wizard, Harry. Everything, including. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if, like, before credits rolled, it just said J.K. Lowell, and then it p- played the actual movie. <laughs> I was kind of hoping for that. Like, I, I just was really hoping that this was a, a joke. Yeah. Yeah, there were definitely too many instances where I... I did not know the tone of this movie. What did this want to be? Yeah, it's like I don't cuz at the end of the, at the end of the movie it's like no there were no like messages throughout anything cuz it's like in the original Mulan uh, there was one guy who constantly doubted Mulan and it was the advisor to the emperor. And he was like, she's a mm-hmm. woman, she'll never be worth anything. And then the emperor doesn't, like, acknowledge that statement. And he, like, honors Mulan anyway. And then, at the end of this movie, nobody is saying that. Everyone is accepting that. But it's just Mulan. They're not saying, like, as a general setting, that, like, things are going to change or anything. And the matchmaker at the yeah. end is just like, <laughs> the matchmaker was another character I know can't speak English because I could tell, I could tell she can't. <laughs> I looked her dead in the eyes when she was delivering those lines, and I knew she was fake. There were just there were things that didn't make sense. Like the whole like matchmaker thing seemed like it was supposed to be Mulan's fault, but it, it wasn't. wasn't. Not at all. Her sister was the one who kicked over the table. It wasn't see i thought okay so like i thought this was going to follow like the digital disney arc where like there's some deep character flaw and mulan's character flaw in this movie is she doesn't have one (laughs) no no, mulan's deep character flaw is that she's god see like i i thought this was going to be more like hercules uh an underrated disney classic um (laughs) to where the main character is already powerful. He's just really clumsy. Oh, you should you should watch the original Mulan. You should definitely watch the original Mulan. Like I thought she was just going to be like really clumsy and like boot camp would like get her in order and get her to being an awesome fighter, but she was already yeah, an she awesome was, fighter. She didn't need help from anyone. 6 years old could twirl a spear and do the kicky maneuver. Terrorizing chickens Terror. and breaking sacred statues. Dropping 40 feet and plunging a spear into some house to catch herself (laughs) i just love her father talking to her going remember sweetie you can't be cool you have to get married yeah i like i couldn't i couldn't tell if the father was trying to put on a tough like father thing you have to do this or if he was just an asshole I couldn't yeah. tell, because he switched so easily. Like, one scene, he's yelling at her, and then the next, he's like, you like my sword? You can toilet if you want. I polish, it, I every polish it every day. <laughs> was it just me, or was that a scene where he's polishing, not polishing, but sharpening his sword, like, extremely sensual, but for no oh. reason? <laughs> <laughs> I was picking up on some major tension in the air between him and that sword. Like, if we play, like, that, that sweet jazz over it, you absolutely know what's going on. But <laughs> since you didn't watch the original Mulan, I'm going to break something down for you. In the original Mulan, there was a okay. sequence where Mulan suits up in the armor. She cuts her hair, mm-hmm. and she, like, says goodbye to her family silently. And they inserted the part where she said goodbye to her family, but it was as a memory. And I thought that was useless like why Mm -hmm. didn't you just put that in the part where she actually runs away and furthermore why would you skip the suiting up in general like that was such an emotionally like pleasing moment in the original and it's ridiculous Mm -hmm. this movie wanted to not make fans of the original mad but pay as little lip service to it as possible i wonder if they wanted to just like 
see how much see how far they could go with nostalgia alone Mm -hmm. yeah because they were just like oh everyone remembers mulan do you want to see live action mulan not really yes you do like especially shut up especially when uh it's being filmed uh where muslim concentration camps are oh yeah just to bring that up and then the main actress is like screw those people in hong kong tyranny is where it's at yeah yeah it's it's bad this entire movie was like imagine if the roadrunner was very clumsy like the old cartoon acme like roadrunner was just really clumsy and he like occasionally just tumbled really really hard whenever he was running and then he would be like, wow, that sucked, and he would keep running. And then another, like, mile down the road, he would tumble really, really hard again. That's just kind of what this movie was. <laughs> it just couldn't seem to find its pacing, and I, I'm i not sure how much of this was filmed during COVID. I'm not sure how much of this um, film was filmed I assume it was done year. before it really... Because <laughs> didn't this movie take That's a long fair. time to make? Like, didn't they announce it, like, a long time ago? I think it might have been in development hell, but I think that was mainly because... They were just trying it to was get that aimless. one The movie felt aimless. That's back a good perfectly. way to describe it. it... <laughs> like, it felt like no one knew what they wanted to make, and it sort of became an amalgamation of everyone's bad ideas. <sighs> Kathleen Kennedy is like, what if we did this? And then China's like, no, what if we did this? And then the director is like, I'm just here. Like, the, okay, so this is random, but to me, the Phoenix kind of reminded me of, like, the director going, mm, let's hit with the kids. Oh, those Hunger Games have a fire bird in it. <laughs> that's, like, that's not <laughs> those even Those kids love the fire bird. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think anyone from my generation likes the Hunger Games. I remember ambiently listening to my family upstairs watching all of them, and I was like, yeah, I don't want to go upstairs. <laughs> I don't want to join them. <laughs> right. That's a discussion for another day. <laughs> We're already gonna make one off. fan base really mad with this. <laughs> you want to get you want to get banned in Russia too? Oh God, I don't know. Should we? <laughs> As we know, Vladimir Putin is our biggest fan. Oh yeah. It... <sighs> Something something else I wanted to touch on is that Mulan would have absolutely been discovered night one. They're all sleeping together. Are we just like, are we just supposed to expect that Mulan can consistently get up before all of them every morning and go to sleep way after them every night? Yeah, that's fair. I wasn't sure if she was going to keep herself wrapped like all safe night. Thing uh, we saw that she didn't. Uh, get some sleep, so I... girl. It would have been. I imagine it would have been extremely uncomfortable, though. Oh, I, I did find the running joke of her smelling like shit. That was pretty funny. Oh, God. Line's getting a little full, but it's okay. Morning will take care of it. Oh, who cares? Who cares? Who cares? We get paid for being here for five hours, even if we leave after 30 minutes, don't we? <laughs> Oh yeah, and like, fucking Mulan lost her family sword into that fire, and like, why did the guy choose to set the building on fire in that way? He could have just torched, it's made of wood, right? He could have just burned it any normal way. No, he gets lava, actual lava, to burn the place down. And of course Mulan's like, Oh no, my sword, and drops it into the lava, perfectly blade down. The only thing I could think of when that sword was, like, going into the lava was Terminator. (laughs) The sword grows an arm and gives a thumbs up up as it's descending into the lava. Yep, yep, that's all I could think about. (laughs) The Emperor just looking up there going, oh no, that's tragic. If only if I could help in some way. If only I had magical powers. But I'm only allowed to use my magical powers once per movie. 
he lost his drapes. He couldn't handle anything. He lost his drapes. He didn't have his magical <laughs> drapes to whip people with anymore. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's true. Like, I have, like, a... I have a faint memory of him, like... I think it... Was he just slapping them? Or was it, like, him snapping their necks with the drapes? Okay, so, I'm pretty sure he just, like, smacked them against the wall with it. Like, I'm pretty sure. Dang. Mongol Rorins are weak. <laughs> Who would have thought? Although they can climb up walls just fine. Gosh. When I saw them climbing up the walls is when I knew this movie was due. <laughs> oh yeah, when they just jump, jumped straight from the horse and just went dun, 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 just over the wall. They ran with up the nothing wall. but their pure ankles. Like, did the witch let them do that? <laughs> are they like? Did the witch give them the power to run up the wall? activate low gravity cheat <laughs> this whole thing felt like a video game that's what it felt like a, a bad video game this felt like this, it's like it's like regular players versus pay to win players like the opening is the tutorial where you're chasing the chicken around <laughs> oh, it, th this is a fable game this is chinese fable <laughs> this is chinese fable <laughs> oh my god and then like the scene where she takes off all the armor and runs into the battlefield you obviously level up <laughs> yeah because she she took off her armor she took it off she tells her father that she lost it but no she threw it away she threw it away <laughs> i'm sorry father i lost your armor no you didn't no you didn't you could have easily packed it up nice and neatly and put it on your horse so, Greg, would you recommend this movie? <laughs> Absolutely not. If you want to watch this movie, go to a website or something and watch it for free. Never rent this movie. Oh, I, I should stay. I did not pay to watch this movie. <laughs> I didn't either. This was garbage. I, I would recommend it only under the condition that you are watching it to have a good laugh. Because you will get that from this movie. But other than that... Yeah, you'll get a nice laugh out of this movie. It, I mean, it's not in any of the jokes. You won't get laughs out of any of the jokes. No, you won't. You'll get laughs out of the pure audacity of this movie to exist. It so desperately wanted to be epic. <laughs> That's the problem with, like like bollywood and chinese movies that i've noticed is that the the main character always starts out super badass and super powerful mm -hmm. that's why i have a sneaking suspicion that disney didn't have any part in the creation of this okay so if disney could hire a bollywood actor to make mulan how come they didn't hire anyone from bollywood to make aladdin who <sighs> i don't know <laughs> that's for another episode <laughs> Aladdin at least had music. That is true. <laughs> the Lion King had music too, right? I didn't see the Lion King, but it had music, right? I think so. It didn't have Jeremy. You didn't see it either. <laughs> I didn't see it. TLDR: Stop remaking animated movies as I... live action garbage. The only live action movie I've seen was Beauty and the Beast. <gasps> yes. Beauty and the Beast has so far been the only good live-action Disney movie I've watched. It has some good elements to it, yeah. They added to it, they too. They added a lot to it, yeah. They added more music. Gaston's more lines, a beautiful face. More scenes. I mean, everyone complained about Emma Watson kind of like being a little bland in the movie, but I didn't think she was. My only issue with blind. Emma Watson in that movie was she couldn't sing very well. That was about it. Oh, yeah. Well, I thought she sung all right. I didn't think it was, like, awful or anything. That's fair. Oh, my. You ready to wrap this up and leave it for morning? Yeah, I mean, like, we haven't done anything. <laughs> Who cares? But, like, I don't know. Maybe we could get someone. Oh, we'll just tell oh, them shit. that Oh, shit, one not. of the residents has wandered into the kitchen. Uh, we should probably take care of that. Fuck. Someone should probably take care of it. She has a knife. Oh, God. <laughs> she has a knife. She has a knife. Cheryl, put it down. Uh, Go back to your room. 
There's no there's no food left. I don't care if you made the soup too salty. You need to go back. All right, that that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. All right. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess we should uh clock out for I guess we should clock out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Definitely. Maybe take the trash out if we're feeling like it. Ugh, definitely just tell them we mopped. We did mop. We did mop. We did mo- we mopped. We mopped. Absolutely mopped. Yep. <sighs> All right, I'll see you tomorrow. All right. Night, Greg. Good night, Noah. <laughs>